am Bob Martin, work for Atmel, Senior Applications Manager, and I'm here at Baker Fair New York 2014. And we're excited because we just announced the Arduino 101 Wi-Fi Shield. And we got some really cool demos to show you on how easy it is to hook an Arduino Uno, or in this case a Zero, up to the internet. So the demo I'm going to show you right now is a notification demo. So that use case is, I've got a bunch of nodes sitting around my house using the wonderful Wi-Fi shield and the Arduino Zero or the Uno. I've got something hooked up to check to, my, to see if my freezer doors open or the cat doors open or someone's broken into the backyard. So what's going to happen first is I'm just going to power up the board and what I have over here is a Verizon hotspot, it, just so I can connect to the cloud of this myriad of Wi-Fi garbage that uh, that is Baker Fair, with all the people wandering out their cell phones. And over here, if you catch it, I'm going to do it one more time. There's going to be a couple of LEDs blinking, but the one to watch is the green one. The green one is going to blink, and as soon as it goes solid, that tells you that I've associated with that one that. Uh, access point hotspot over there. So that's a very quick Wi-Fi association and that's what you need because really you want to keep these nodes in low power mode. So now we have an Arduino shield hooked up to the web, up to the cloud. The second part of the equation is, well it's one thing to detect an alarm, but we want to know what the alarm is doing. So here's our handy dandy smartphone. And we just picked a random, well, not a completely random, but there's a service, a, a cloud service called Notify My Android. And you sign up, you log in like Gmail or something like that. And after you've logged in, what you do is generate a specific set of security keys right off their website. I took those security keys and compiled it directly into the software that's running on the Arduino Wi-Fi Shield combination, which means that that board that we just powered up is uniquely identified to my login, login ID on this NMA website. So last part of the equation is we have the Wi-Fi shield, it's connected to the cloud or waiting for an event like uh, glass breakage, like the cat door swinging open. So I'm going to generate an event by how we always do at trade shows, I'm going to press a button. So I'm going to press this button right here and a little, the orange light's gonna flash, and in a couple seconds, or not even a couple seconds, I get a notification from my board and with the notification that it's a button press. Now, again, when the phone is only six inches away from the board, not too impressive. But again, this message, because it's carried in the cloud, this board could be 5,000 miles away, and that's the point. And again, that quick association with the Wi-Fi with this device allows us to put the Arduino board and everything on it into sleep mode, very low power consumption. Something happens, we can get, detect that event, wake up, associate with that access point in about a second, depending on how many other access points are around, and send that notification out, which is plenty of time for a sock drawer being opened or somebody breaking into your house. So. That's the um, basically the Wi-Fi device demo. There are two other modes which I don't have running here right now, where this uh, module can be placed as a soft access point, so it can use that one of these modules as an aggregator, or the shield as an aggregator for all your alarm devices. And the other thing is something called Wi-Fi Direct. And that's a technology where you can connect two devices directly. Uh, let's say a remote control with your gaming. All the new gaming modules now or controllers use Wi-Fi Direct as opposed to Bluetooth. The latency in Bluetooth is too much. The bandwidth and the latency of Wi-Fi Direct are much better. And without that association of instant association, um, and we're coming up with some more demos which will better explain that latency in terms of some remote control demos. But we're really excited about this Shield event. I've only been playing with this Shield for less than a week now in getting some of these demos online. The API is very intuitive. Again, we're moving it completely into the Arduino library. So look for the Arduino Shield, the Wi-Fi Shield, 101 Shield. Full production around January. We'll have 
wing boards for Atmel eval boards available earlier because we really want to make sure that the Arduino libraries for this shield are bulletproof.